Do you want to know something that's really crazy? Pears are ready to be harvested before they're even ripe. Let's talk about that. Well, that's right. It's an uncommonly known fact that pears are one of the very, very few fruits that you have to actually harvest before they're ripe. And you do not want your pears ripening on the tree. So I'm going to show you a couple ways to know that your pears are ready to be picked off the tree and ripened inside. Now there are a couple solid ways to understand if your pears are mature enough to pick. Now the number one reason of course is the time of year. Down here in zone 8B that is late July to early August. So if you're in zone 8B and you're watching this video, you should be picking your pears right now. Now number two of course is size and shape. It should be, of course, the shape of a pear and it should be the size for the variety that you're growing. Now these kefirs get a li little bit bigger. So you can see this one is perfect. It's about the size of well, even a softball. And that's a little big, but <laughs> our, our trees do quite well. So it should be baseball, softball size, and it should be ready to pick. Now in some varieties, your pears will yellow slightly when they are mature enough to pick off the tree. But I'm going to tell you that's really, really hard to discern, especially out in the bright sun or if you're not out in your orchard every day taking a look at the fruit. Should you be in your orchard every day? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe every other day, maybe every third day. But I'm going to tell you, Looking for color is, is really difficult, but it is an indicator. Another way to tell if the fruit is ripe is to just test it. And if they come off really easily, if you just twist them woo, really simply like that, barely give it any pressure and they come right off, then it is ready. And lastly, of course, when the pears come off the tree, you're going to want them to be very firm. I also wanted to add that when you see fruit drop from a tree, there could be many reasons for fruit drop. If it's dropping in the normal time range when you're supposed to harvest your mature pears, then it's probably okay. But if you get fruit drop at any other point, then it could be because of uh, disease, it could be because of drought. So combine all the factors to understand when your pears are ready to be harvested. Let's get all these pears off these pear trees and then we will talk about the ripening process. I need to get these off now because look at this. There are so many pears on this limb that it's completely bent over and touching the ground. What a blessed harvest this year. Now we have a few different types of pears on this side of our homestead, in this orchard. We have other pears up near the house. Usually you have two different kinds of pears. You've got your canning pears and your eating pears. The eating pears have a more buttery flesh. They're more smooth. The canning pears are a little bit more grainy. And those are usually the ones you find canned in the stores. These kefir pears are the grainy canning pear types. And what you saw us can in the past were actually our eating pears. They were our warren pears. But we had to can them because we just couldn't eat them all before they rotted. So you can can everything, but these are specifically made for canning. Now these are moon glow pears over here, and they are definitely a smaller variety than your kefir. So like I said earlier, understand your varieties and when to pick them. This came right off, so this is absolutely ready to harvest and get inside to ripen. But this is also a canning pear. Although it is not as grainy as the kefir, it still is a canning pear. Not the best for eating, but it's still good. So our pears are mature, but now it's time to ripen them because you can't eat them like this. They would not taste good at all and they wouldn't be sweet. Pears have to ripen in temperatures between 65 and 75 degrees to the point where they're going to develop that sh those sugars, 
ripen properly, and be sweet enough to eat. So one solid way to tell when your pear is ripe is to push with your thumb right here at the neck. If it's still hard, it's not ripe. If it starts to give a little, that means it's actually perfect and it's time to eat it or to can it. Now remember that every variety of pear is gonna have a different ripening time. So something like this kefir can take four to six weeks to ripen inside. However, something like a warren or a bartlett, especially a bartlett, a bartlett will only take three days to ripen once picked off the tree and stored in that temperature setting that I told you about earlier. So you don't wanna miss the videos that we'll be putting out in the next couple of weeks. Those include making pear butter with these and also some canned maple pears which are amazing on pancakes and waffles. Now go check out this video right here, which shows you exactly how to water bath can pears. Have a great day, we love you. See you on the next video, bye.